all for you guys. I want to give special praise to Zep. Optimus, Christina, and uh, Monique, and all the people who are going extra hard on retweeting um, uh, all the give it tweets every day. I see so much action on Twitter, and uh, you know those three are the first that come to my mind of like going really hard. Uh, but the marketing on Twitter has been out of control this month, and I want to praise everyone for participating in it. Uh, I also want to give huge shout out to Kieran and Lauren for uh, taking on QF uh, with the ENS Builder. It seems like the best round ever. Uh, and special shout out to Kieran and for the efforts around um, for the efforts around uh, getting cluster cluster mapping in here. That's going to be so cool. And and then I want to give a huge shout out to oh he can't even hear me now. But a huge shout out to William for uh, all the effort that he's been doing behind the scenes, uh, tracking down liquidity and just it's amazing how beautiful the notion is that he's been making around where all the give tokens are and uh, and, and uh, talking about market makers and all the give economy stuff. So uh, with that, I'll pass it over to Lauren. OK. Praising. Um, yeah, I definitely want to praise Griff and Jake for the incredible fundraising efforts and Kieran as well, who's been grabbing all the sponsor logos. Incredible fundraising efforts on this QF round. Like we're just like getting so many sponsors and just like all kind of the rolling in last minute. And we're just like, oh, what do we do with all these sponsors? It's so great. What a great problem to have. And I want to praise Ashley for all of the hard work that she's been putting into curating the projects and watching the nominations coming in and making sure that the projects have optimism addresses and prioritizing verifying the project so that everything can like smoothly move into this next round and i want to praise mitch for taking on figuring out what to do with all of our wild liquidity things it's like we're like oh the liquidity is here and it's here but it should be here and here and mitch is like what is this and what is this and he's just like taking it on and problem solving and it's just like absolutely incredible and with that i'll pass to mitch Thanks. Um, I'd like to praise um, Cherik and Amin for uh, starting the work on DVouch, on decentralized verification, um, having lots of meetings with me, uh, mm -hmm. going into like creating all of the backend solutions that we'll need. Cherik is learning how to become a backend dev, so that's really cool. Um, so praise to those guys for starting strong on the on the backend development for that new project. Um, and I'll praise Mo and Tossin also on, on decentralized verification. They're going nonstop on the wireframes, on the designs, on everything like that. A lot of coordination between us three um, the last week or so. And it's coming together really well. Um, and so I'd like to praise those two as well for the designs. Um, and lastly, I'll praise my DAO Ops crew. Uh, for Shell, Heather, Nico, and Nicola, uh, always great meetings with you guys. We always get a lot of productive stuff done. Even if DAOPS is shrinking, we're still productive as hell. Um, so really praise to you guys there for, for meeting and getting it done. And I'll pass it on to Ashley. I'm getting back into the swing. Okay. I want to praise Kareem for just like jumping into Ordo, into the emails, just kind of getting thrown in and figuring it all out, getting the journey set up, campaigns, putting the emails over in there and working with me to like find all these weird tag bugs with give back and just iron out all the kinks. He's been doing a lot of work there. I want to praise the team that put on the give token sessions, so Griff and Lauren and Almond and Nico and all the like getting everybody there. Inspi inspiration behind of it behind it was really nice um so i had a great time there and you know i've seen so many new people just like jumping in and getting involved so kieran rachel william like welcome you guys thanks so much for jumping in and with such great enthusiasm and like executing on tasks and and, and kareem too you're still pretty new so that's my praise and i will pass it over to kai uh, hey, I want to praise Griff for pushing GIF so much. Like, I really loved the session um, we had. Um, please, more. And like all those personal <laughs> tweet, uh, um, 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 you know, pleads for like retweets. I, we need to automate that. You shouldn't, uh, your time is valuable. You shouldn't like write to everyone just to retweet. Um, I want to um, also praise uh, Mitch, Ashley, Lauren, 
um, for always like being here, like and um, you know holding so many things. Uh, seeing Dao Ops uh, is shrinking, um, but still uh, that's going on. Um, I, I love what Ashley is doing with the community, and Lauren uh, just came off like a great call with Connect. Um, um, so doing many things there. I also want to praise Krati for also pushing so many things on uh, different levels. Uh, I cannot really name them; there are too many. And I give it to Nico. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kai. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give my praise to Heather for um, all the hirings that she did for the month of April. We had a lot of new hires. So um, I also wanted to praise um, Mitch for hosting our DAOPS call. Uh, it's always a productive call with the DAOPS crew. And also, um, yeah, Griff for hosting this call. Thank you so much, Griff. And I'm passing it to Frischel. Thank you. Um, I want to praise Heather for holding my hand and for always being so supportive in hiring our new accounting assistant. And I want to praise Nico for being a great support system and for um, um, helping out with the whole process on that and for doing all things like um, DMing everyone. And I want to praise Griff for our um, accounting hack sesh and um, yeah, for everything. Thank you. And I'll pass it to um, Amin. Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to praise Mitch for his great uh, breakdown of the tasks for the Devouch and amazing spec. I want to praise Kai, Lauren, uh, <clears throat> who follow up the Connex bridge and and Griff, of course. Uh, we will launch a bridge for QS for gift token in a uh, close future. And um, yeah, almost that. I'm new here. I'm passing to Mo. Have you gone? No, thanks. Um, um, okay, so I want to praise um, Christina and Marco and, and also Gil for helping with the, the logo for the Debauch project. I um, also want to praise Tosin for uh, doing a great job on the wireframes and, and making sure that we are following, we are covering on the whole um feature and, and flow and, and everything and, and uh we, we we are not missing anything. That's a really good thing. And um and also I want to praise uh, Griff for um doing the the the, the, the marketing stuff on, on, on the Twitter and, and uh, uh, sharing the tweets and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm, I'm not sure why I should, I, I think, Marco, can I pass it to you? Okay. Marco, you're still muted. Marco put in the chat that he can't talk, so I'm going to take it. There we go. Uh, I'm going to start with Griff, the gentle giant of QF sponsors. The man always says he doesn't know how to ask for money, but he always makes the money come in. So good job, Griff. Secondly, Marcelo, the machine of grant writing. He's been doing a really good job lately. It's been an, a pleasure getting some of these L2 grants out. And then since this week I had a buddy review, I'm going to name these the Swift Six uh, for swooping in and doing my uh, buddy reviews. That would be Ahmad, Hanners, Pedro, Laz, Marcelo, and Anonymous Mitch. Yeah, I know the sixth one was you, Mitch. Uh, there we go. Thanks for doing the buddy review. Let me go ahead and pass it along to somebody new here. Let's go with Rachel. Hey, everybody. Yeah, so this is my first town hall. I'm uh, really excited to be here. And I don't know, can I praise everybody, everybody on the team for the positive energy, uh, just starting these calls off with praise. I, I think that's a really, uh, really positive thing that the team does. So it's just really refreshing. Um, specifically, I want to go through and praise Lauren for, you know, just being my buddy and, and helping me with my onboarding. Shout out to Nico. Nico did such an amazing job. Um, was just so organized, the whole onboarding process. 
uh, Jake, Ashley, like everyone on this call who spent time with me and just has uh, helped me to learn the voice of Giveth and Give Token. Uh, Griff for taking like an hour teaching me about Gervs. Thank you, Griff. Um, let's see who else. Almond. Uh, yeah, everybody who's taken time with me. I, I appreciate you, Heather. Um, and, and yeah, I will pass it off to let's see who hasn't gone yet. <laughs> Um, do do do. See, uh, Noah. Hello, everybody. A pleasure to be here. I want to praise uh, Marcelo, Pedro, and the entire fundraising team. They've been very supportive uh, since I got hired. And uh, they've been helping me a lot by adding new opportunities into the Telegram channel so I can do the the review and the grant analysis. So thanks, thanks a lot. And thanks for the whole team because uh, your guys are making me feel very, <laughs> very happy. And this, this is something I never experienced before. So thank you very much. This, this, uh, like this feeling of a, of a big family. <laughs> Praise y'all. Oh, and also I will pass to uh, Tosi. Tosi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, so I want to praise Mitch for being just the best uh, manager, especially on the Devouch project and trying to, you know, Cross out our T's and dot our I's on the user flow and making sure we get in the design well. And I uh, also want to praise Mo for, you know, for all his feedbacks and and the great works on the UI, especially on Devouch. And I also want to praise uh, Christina and Gil for providing uh, great support, especially when it comes to the logo design for Devouch. Uh, pass to... Oh, uh, let's have you gone? Oh, thanks, Tosin. Uh, I want to this praise actually to Griff because I see like the tweet you posted, I was like pumping. It was like a weird moment for me, but I was laughing for like a whole minute, like non stop. That's very really funny. Uh, and I'll I'll keep it quick because like Griff wants to finish on the 20th, so I'll give more chances to other people. Refi, Colombia, I'll pass it to you. Refi Colombia, do you have any praise to dish to anyone around in the Giveth ecosystem? Uh, it looks like you're having trouble finding that mute button, so I'm going to throw it over to Roberto. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Roberto, and I want to praise Heather for, very, for being very kind and welcoming me to give it. <laughs> And I want to praise Nico and Frischel for their patience and joy during my onboarding. And I want to praise Gray for his daily effort and dedication to achieve the goals. And uh, I'll pass it for you. Let's throw it over to William. Uh, can you listen to me? Uh, good? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm here as uh, only town hall. Uh, I'm very excited about this, about this process that I'm, I'm doing here. So, uh, yeah, my praise is, is, is going to three uh, for grief and um, Lauren. And both has been like interacting a lot with me and having, having a lot of patience with me. All these jobs that I've been doing in Give Economy. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking shape and getting in shape to, to give more value to the gig economy team. And, and yeah, the third one, it comes to, I don't know, in between Mitch and maybe for Shell, because they have been taking care of me on some questions related with the liquidity pools. So yeah, they will split it <laughs> between, the, between those. So yeah, thank you. And I'll pass it for you. Let's start over to Almond. Uh, okay. 
thanks. Uh, I want to praise Grief for hosting the AMA session and praise everyone that took the time to give some feedback. It was really valuable. Thanks. I want to praise Nico for your hard work uh, helping me reach out to everyone for the AMA session and for the main party today too. Please, everyone that's here, join. And I want, I think I already mentioned three. So I'll just um, pass it. Oh my God, Nicola, you already went. Oh, thanks. Okay, wow, well, last minute. Hi, everyone. I want to praise. I want to praise Greg for the amazing AMA session and gift token. I'm excited for a follow up. I want to praise. Mitch and Heather for amazing personal one-on-one -on -one check ins with me also this week. And I want to praise what else? What else? Oh, everyone who provided me feedback on my body review because it was very valuable and it helped me to, you know, reflect and uh, realign for the next season. Thank you so much. And oh, actually, we have someone else who wants to give a praise if it's okay. Danny. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, I had some praise for you. I want to praise Heather for thorough vetting of these candidates. So amazing. So many amazing people want to join. Give it. You do such a good job of checking them out and making sure we get quality people. Lauren, I want to praise you for leading Giveth into the forefront of quadratic funding. It has taken off and the work that I see you doing everywhere for Giveth is amazing. You are doing such a great job. Thank you for that. I want to praise Nicola for a really thoughtful evaluation of how she can really meaningfully contribute to the Giveth Galaxy as a whole, as we're all growing and evolving. And my final praise is for Rachel. It was really great to hear a new voice coming in here and immediately having enthusiastic and really insightful praise. So congratulations on your first praise, Rachel. And uh, I'm gonna throw it back to Griff. I think we're about at time. Yep, we're at time. Thank you guys so much. Nicest way to sneak one extra in there, Danny. Uh, classic Danny move. Uh, not surprised at all. Uh, you guys just experienced some phrase. Uh, phrase is not just a great way to show our gratitude to each other. It also turns into gift tokens, which is just wild. Uh, and I don't know any other economy that does that. Uh, well, I guess there's a couple of like TC. Anyway, uh, there. Uh, if, if you want to praise you can praise 24 7 in the discord backslash praise marco did it in the chat just uh backslash first you have to sign up a lot of new people are in here so you have to sign up for praise so uh, you need to activate backslash activate and then backslash praise uh to your wildest content it will actually reward uh the people that you praise so you're not just giving them gratitude you're giving them give uh so so don't be be lavish with your praise uh, welcome to the monthly town hall. It is April 25th and we got a lot in store for you. Uh, so uh, first big announcements. I think it's just one more day to activate the givers. I, I assume this will show up in in the QF call, but I want to make sure that you don't forget. First thing to be said, if you got givers, go out there and nominate your favorite projects. There's a meme party after this call. If you've never been to a meme party, oh my God, they are so much fun. And we have lots of fun things to meme. So uh, come to the meme party right after this call. I assume it's gonna be in this channel so we don't have to go anywhere. The forum is insane. I cannot keep up. I can, all I can do is like read half of these things. There's so much going on. So check out the forum, uh, stay involved. There are some votes active on Snapshot. And again, it was mentioned a lot in this in the praise round. Thank you all for going so hard on on X <laughs> on Twitter and uh, and really doing the uh, doing the game. We really appreciate the marketing. We got to we got to pump the pump the marketing out. Uh, Dow service announcement announcements. Uh, if if anyone has any feedback on anybody, you can give that feedback at any time. Uh, go go here. In fact, let me make sure there's a link to the slides in the chat so you all have it. Um, oops. Oh man. Okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, so there's all these great links uh, for giving feedback on contributors, giving feedback on leaders. Uh, self review form like don't don't be shy to give feedback to people whether they're doing a great job or doing a bad job uh you definitely uh we really appreciate the feedback and muhammad carlos and rachel all have some time off so definitely let them enjoy it uh even though rachel is here right now 
I want she's not supposed to be. So, <laughs> um, but thank you guys anyway. Uh, if you are booking, t- <laughs> yeah. But if you are booking time off, put it in Clockify. There's this link right here to book time off. Uh, if you work for Give It, uh, tell everyone the best way the, to coordinate around it is just by booking time in, in Clockify. Okay. With that, I will throw it over to oh, Rachel's got a nice view. Uh, glad to see some vacation time. Uh, but uh, let's throw it over to Lauren for the QF Working Group. Okay, great. QF Working Group. Um, so my name's Lauren. Sorry, and Lauren. I... We've got to turn our cameras off when it oh. can't get in. Okay, I'll do it for Monique. Um, I'm Lauren. I'm the steward of this working group, but also we just hired Kieran, who's soon going to be the steward of this working group. Um, the the biggest CTA for this QF round basically right now, or the QF working group, is that today is the last day that you can nominate projects to get into the QF round. Um, the way you nominate projects is basically by having a giver NFT. So you don't, if you don't have a giver NFT and you want to get one, you could mint one and then nominate a project. And then it also gives you access to a special Discord channel that we have where nominators and giver nft holders can coordinate around which projects that they're nominating um and also this will probably be used in the future we actually did this previously and and it was like so great to give that extra utility to our nft holders so um yeah if you don't have a giver you could get a giver and nominate projects today is the very last day to do so um yeah and cool you can go back to the to the slides griff um yeah, I, I mean, I think this is a really great meme. Use the quadratic force, Luke, because the quadratic force are the sponsors of the QF round. And basically by nominating projects, you get to use the power of the quadratic force to direct it to uh, the projects that you care about on Giveth. So um, next slide. Um, so what went well last month? We finally finished everything to do with the Polygon round. All of the matching funds are up there. All the KYC is done. All the funds that are going to get distributed have been distributed. And it's done. It's just done. It's done. And I'm so glad. Um, also, as I mentioned, we are... Uh, onboarded Kieran, um, welcoming him into the QF working group, who's going to be gradually taking over PMing it so that I can focus on the give- But um, you can stay tuned if you're a project and you have a project and you're waiting to know what you get. That will be posted either. Yeah, either to. Well, it'll be posted today, either very soon or later today um, on both the Giveth and the and the ENS forums. And yeah, and the ENS is super happy with how the round went there. They're, um, in the what could have gone better, you'll see that I would have liked to see more donations in the round. We had a 20K matching pool. And about seven thousand dollars donated, um, and yeah, it just seems like that there wasn't as much donations happening. A lot of the donations were from people who are who are like commonly donating on Giveth. So I think in the future, um, yeah, we can do more to kind of like push our partners to be publicizing the rounds and really try to rally people. Um, and also for this round, we're working on setting up new um, content for encouraging projects uh, how to nominate their projects and like just telling them to post about it because some of the projects like they they not they applied for the round but then they didn't tweet it. About it at all and they didn't seem to ask anyone to donate so anyway we were trying to create do our best to support them with resources um also we started testing out cluster mapping um looking at the ens data basically cluster mapping um it, it, it like it's a different way of calculating how the quadratic funds will be the funds will be distributed um where it actually kind of like clusters donors together if they have like similar donation patterns um and just kind of like at a glance it's looking like the results are more it seems like more democratic or more fair and it just seemed like a better distribution so it's something i think that we're going to be trying out in the next round i'm so super excited about that also this is going really well i don't want to steal jake's thunder at all but like the galactic giving sponsors have been rolling in like mad we've got so many sponsors and just like last minute kind of jumping in and just like an extra 5k and an extra 1.5k we're actually increasing the size of the magic pool from 30k was the original and now it's going to be at least 40k might even be a little more we're going to kind of like calculate how much is rolling in and what we can what we can do um yeah so that is all of that Um, um, and then what else? Oh yeah, and then like what could have gone better? I mean, we have we had all these bugs on the the d- data export that are still not quite all finished, but um, we've been working really really hard uh, to to get those issues resolved. Um, yeah, you can kind of slow on to the next slide. 
Um, what's coming next? Uh, yeah, what's coming next? The Galactic Giving Round, as I was mentioning, you can nominate projects. That starts next Thursday. So it starts in a week, um, and it's going to be running for two weeks. And I'm super excited about that. It's like we're calling it Galactic Giving because it spans May 4th. So it's like the May the 4th be with you round. <laughs> we got a meme party right after this if you want to join and make some memes about it. Um, and, you know, we're continuing to fundraise for, for QF rounds. I really hope we can continue to run basically one round per month on giveth so just keep pushing to to set up our next round um we're going to do our first live trial of cluster mapping we'll probably try to use cluster mapping to distribute the funds in the galactic giving round but stay tuned for a forum post on that um gitcoin has been evolving uh, the way that they use passport and getting rid of stamps so looking into like how that should integrate with our platform if we want to also follow suit and get rid of the stamps and the scoring and use kind of like what they're using for gg20 or what we've already integrated um and yeah, and then goals for the Galactic Giving Round. I mean, I want to get at least 80 projects in the round, at least 45K of matching pool. If not, I'm seeing 45 in the chat. Maybe we can get to 50 and uh, hopefully can sell 30 giver NFTs. Um, yeah, that's all I got for the QF Working Group, and I'll sling it over to Mitch for DAP. Oh, yeah, I'm already unmuted. Wow, risky business. Uh, so DAP Working Group. Uh, well, we've got some cool stuff there. Uh, we had our last Give Talk that was recorded on Spotify uh, with Anna from ReFidel. <laughs> and uh, you can listen to that. It's about an hour long. Uh, really great Twitter space with her. And yeah, wow, there's a whole bunch of videos on there. Definitely check out the Give Talk uh, on Spotify. Uh, and we've got another one coming up on May 20th uh, with Peeth from Metagame. Um, and lastly, the big CTA is I'd like to welcome uh, Miriam to the DAP Dev Squad. She's been working all of this week and last week uh, on development issues in Giveth. Um, I think she's in Morocco, so I think it's kind of late for her. But anyway, if you see her around, uh, say hello. Don't be shy. Uh, and welcome to Miriam. Uh, we have a couple calls that happen. We have Dev Daily Standups uh, happening Monday to Thursday, um, 8 a.m. Mexico time. And we also have uh, the comms calls, which happen every week, uh, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. So those are when our meetings are. And we can go to the next slide and talk about what we've been dappening. Uh, KPIs so far in the season three since April 5th, we've had about $26,000 worth of donations on the platform and about six newly verified projects in the last couple of weeks. Uh, what went well? Well, the season three started for the DAP with sustain, but we're still going to release a couple of interesting features over the course of the next few months. Uh, there was a new release of the DAP. Uh, version 2.24 was released, uh, I think, maybe four or five days ago. Anyway, that also came with some bug fixes and some new features. Um, some really cool things there is we have an interactive project quality score things so when you're making a project you get like a score and then you get these all these tips to like make your project better so like writing a longer description or adding a custom image or adding some social media things to it and so like it's kind of a game to get your a high score as possible um and then when you create your project it's high quality and donors have all the information they need to to engage with you um yeah, exactly. Looking just like that. So it's a cool game. And with those I just mentioned is now you can add social media badge badges onto your project. So if you want to link your Farcaster, your YouTube, your Twitter, Reddit, Discord server, all that stuff, you can link that directly into your project page and it'll show up as a clickable link when people go to visit your project. Uh, the comms team has working hard on new onboarding emails and journeys, and those are done. Uh, so when people sign up or they make their first donation or they make their first project on Giveth, they're put into a unique journey that shows them the ropes on how to start using Giveth. Um, the DevOps team is doing a cost analysis of our infrastructure and servers, hopefully bringing some costs down that we're paying every month to keep Giveth running, uh, shutting down different services that we don't need, things around Giveth Trace that obviously we haven't used for years. Um, so that's going really well. Uh, we started work on DVouch. This is our Optimism Mission Grant. Uh, this is Decentralized Verification V1. 
Uh, so as I mentioned with my praise, uh, you know, Mo and Tosin are going hard on the design and Cherik and Amin are working on the backend development. And so that's starting off strong. And obviously, as I mentioned, we hired a full stack dev, uh, uh, Miriam. Uh, I think she actually works for GM, but anyway, she's around. What could have gone better? Remember that time I said, dear God, I hope Superfluid was done by the next town hall? Well, it isn't done. So uh, <laughs> we're supposed to launch it on Monday. Uh, so I really hope it's done on Monday. And we can launch this thing, and everyone gets to start using recurring donations on Giveth, and, and life is good. Uh, so that's something that could have gone better. Uh, next slide, please. What's coming up next? <laughs> Uh, the upcoming Give Talk I just mentioned. We've got more impact reports. So uh, Ashley, along with the comms team, is getting together the impact reports to show, you know, how many donations did we get uh, in a certain round? How, mm -hmm. What's the dollar value of givebacks that we distributed to donors? Um, and some cool updates about projects as well. Um, Kareem is working on the SEO analysis. So he's going to be looking at our SEO across the website, creating a report that we can improve our SEO uh, across the, the entire Giveth uh, website. Uh, we're also working on re-engagement email journeys for stagnant donors. So donors who haven't donated in the last six months or so, we're gonna be trying to reactivate them and get them back onto the website. Uh, also, super fluid release coming next week. You, you know, I'm not gonna say more about that one, but next week, next Monday, it's gonna be done. We're gonna do the comms release later the same week. So. You know, fingers crossed, everybody. Please, please think of me. Put me in your thoughts. Um, winding down the last servers from Giveth Trace and saving some money along the way. And we are still on the lookout for a community lead superstar. And there's this meme. I don't know if Rochelle put a meme in here, but somebody tell me if you guys get it. I don't know. Anyway, there's a meme. Uh, and with that, uh, the DAP is finished, and I'll pass it back to Lauren for the Give Economy. I get it. I get it. Give economy. Um, great. So give economy working group. Um, so I didn't mention this before in the QF working group call, but uh, we are splitting up our QF and uh, give economy working group calls. So now give economy is going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday and QF is going to be at noon um, for our comms. Uh, we are really starting an effort around um, give economy marketing. So if you haven't yet joined our telegram, please do. That's where we're going to be kind of posting about, um, about give economy type things, give token things, what the roadmap is with GURVs, et cetera, et cetera. We're also starting up a new Twitter account at give token. We haven't started posting, but we're drafting some content for it. So you could just kind of like jump on the ball here and make sure that you follow the at giveth Twitter account. Um, and then also, um, yeah, one thing that Steve uh, mentioned to do, and it's such a good idea to increase Increase the engagement around give and just like gives appearance across Twitter. Add dollar sign give to your Twitter name or bio. I put some screenshots he out here of people who are doing it. I got Stee, Griff, Jake, Ahmad, and you can see kind of they put give where they feel comfortable somewhere in their bio. Um, this really kind of like helps when people are searching for give. They see that there's a community behind it, that they see that there's some activity around the token, and that really kind of helps with the marketing of the give token and the give economy. So please, please, please add it to your Twitter handle. Um, and also, the other CTA I got here is that there's a vote up for um, whether or not we should spend money on running a Give Economy Twitter space um, with L Bank. Those are your CTAs. You can kind of roll on to the next slide. What went well last month? Well, if you haven't heard, you probably have. Give is on L Bank. And Give has got on our first centralized exchange. Um, we've got this Give USDT trading pair and had a lot of great comms associated with it. Um, the L Bank community helped to get us in uh, the Yahoo Finance and the Globe and Mail with this article explaining the Give token roadmap and and why why Give matters and what's important about it. So I linked to the article there as well. But this is like a super exciting effort. Um, we also welcomed aboard William and Rachel, two new contributors to the Give Economy Working Group. William has been leading the efforts on improving our 
are give token appearance across wallets and dex listings and on coin gecko and coin market cap and he's doing like such amazing work on this so far um and rachel has joined the team to really like lead the effort and throw some energy behind marketing the give token she's going to help to run that twitter account and the telegram and all those things that we're ramping up uh, so if you see these folks around make sure you give them a really warm welcome um the give economy dune dashboard amin has put some effort into into starting this out and it's already so awesome like it shows the amount of give that's being staked on optimism and on gnosis and how much is being locked in give power there's still like more charts that we want to add and a bunch that we want to do but we've made like some really good progress on this and already i find it like cool and useful um givebacks we're on to round 60 now reviewing round 60 so tr trucking along with givebacks we're not as far behind as we as we were some like a month ago um we've also um and thanks to ashley has have done some great uh, updates to our docs around Give Power, Give Stream, Give Garden, and the Give Economy docs are just getting better and better and more up to date. And Give Power Rewards Extension. The people have voted to extend Give Power another six months. Um, so uh, Amin and I are kind of setting that up in these days, just making sure that the rewards keep flowing. Um, but then we'll have rewards happily flowing until October, November of this year. Um, what could have gone better? Um, we are pausing improving givebacks because there's not enough bandwidth uh, to, to divide our developers between that and all the other things we have to do. Um, it's also we've, the, the L bank market making has been really challenging. Um, so we're building an R bot, R bot for it, but the, the, the build of the R bot has been taking some time. Um, also, we've been a bit slow to set up our Connects Bridge, but we're finally making some progress on it. And so soon you'll be seeing our Optimism and Gnosis Chain Bridge uh, live. And um, the Telegram community, we're just kind of starting to build it, but haven't really started actively posting in there. So these are things that could have gone better, stuff that we're like still working on now, stuff that's going to be coming into the next couple of months. But if you look at the chart here, I mean, I think this is pretty cool. The Give token is actually doing better than ETH. You can see like on the left is like the, the ETH price. It's like if you were to get Give with ETH. Um, and, uh, yeah, the give over the last month has been also doing better than ETH in the last month. ETH has been down 13% gives down only 5%. So we're doing better. I mean, we wanted to be improving or beating the price of ETH overall, and we are so far. So what's coming up in May, um, we're doing an audit of where is the give token liquidity. I mean, we've got give token liquidity on Gnosis and Optimism. We're checking to see like where we have our pools, which ones are still active, which ones we should remove and should we shift some things around. So William has really been like leading the charge on setting this up of like, okay, where is our give token liquidity? He's been making some great documentation in the notion around it. And now Mitch is jumping on it to actually start setting up multi-sig transactions so we can start moving things around. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, having a better distribution of our give token liquidity will just like overall help the entire economy. Um, the give token account is set up to start like next month. We're going to start regularly posting. So make sure that you give that account a follow. Um, we're also working on updating give token listings on CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, as I mentioned. Um, we're also doing a, a, an audit of where the give we had went, like where we spent it, how much went to what bucket, because um, the buckets at the beginning of the distribution have like, you know, we had our initial distribution and then over time it's changed. So we're going to kind of check to see where that has all gone. Continue improving the Give Economy dashboard, and then we've also got the QAC marketing plan and the plan for for Gervs. It's coming up hot this year. We're going to be working towards launching Gervs sometime later this year. So setting up the marketing plan, like how are we going to explain this story that's not too technical? Um, so that's coming up in May. Lots going on in the Give Economy working group. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So I'll pass it on to Jake fundraising. Whoa, I am not last this week. Moving on up. There we are. Look at the fundraising working group. I didn't have too much uh, to speak about for CTAs and comms, so I'm just going to speak in, in high level about Giveth. Uh, we're pretty excited as uh, over here at about L Bank listing, so I, I put a, a tweet there from L Bank. Uh, one thing that we can speak about is we're currently in Epoch 3. If you have any uh, staked GLM, please get over there, help us out with some voting. Last time I checked, I think Giveth was in second place. Praise and Pairwise, uh, our friends over there, are also in that round, so use your staking power wisely. Uh, as mentioned, again, you can never mention enough, the QF round, the Galactic QF round that uh, we're doing here, May the 4th be with you, kicks off uh, on the 2nd, so just a week from now. And then top tweets that we really enjoyed on the fundraising team was Vitalik's love of charity coins, so uh, show us some love as well. Um, 
as you can see there, we, we meet on Mondays at 10 in the morning Eastern, 4 p.m. in uh, the Giveth Discord. So come and join. We'd love to have you. Uh, what happened since March? Uh, so we did win a grant that Mitch is working really hard on, the decentralized vouching via attestations. Uh, really nice, 18,000 OP. Uh, we do have to hold on to that, though, for, for about a year. So we'll, we'll see that one in 2025. Um, as Lauren kind of mentioned before, we went from probably four or five QF sponsors to, uh, am I missing something? Did somebody jump in? To uh, Gitcoin Grants 20. Uh, thanks a lot, Lauren, for your. For uh, that as well. So, hopefully, some really good news. Have some more feedback in the coming week. Uh, Those numbers. Um, since we spoke a lot about he wants to see us at least stay around instead of shrink. Spotlight. It's a really nice to have a partner. What we could have done better. break moving along to the last slide solidify that deal with uh, common stack and our l2 partner hold strong and uh, we're going to make sure that our whale group stayed around as long as the give stream for a couple years maybe the fundraising group so let's get that finished up and with our friend GM Marco uh, that week KPIs, we're going to hopefully that a good meeting with Tyco uh, turns into more. We have a connection over at Metis, and uh, we just submitted for base and BNB. We, Kai and the team have a good lead for Covalent, so we're feeling positive about that. Polygon uh, EVM is taking shape, so more to come on that. Uh, and then, of course, we'd like to find some more opportunities like Epoch or Gitcoin Grants, kind of the quick plug-and-play plug and uh, grant opportunities. And then I just heard from Lauren, you know, we can never stop looking for more Q-forcers. I feel pretty winded on 14, but let's push the sky, let's push the limits and go after some more here for next month. And since I'm not last, let's see who I can pass along. I think it's Mitch. Yep. DAOPS is now the caboose. Um, so the DAOPS working group. Well, we've got some things to talk about. Um, the DAOPS uh, voted to shrink from the last season three voting. Um, so we're taking that into account. There's lots of things that we've had to cut from scope from the DAOPS, and I'll cover that in some later slides. Uh, some forum posts to work through here. You can see Griff's opening them all up in the background there. Get it, last one. Okay, so Dow Health, uh, that one's been up there for about a month, and we'd like to see some more engagement. Uh, this affects everybody. So if you've spent the last couple of years in Giveth, I mean, these are the, the final reflections we've had from um, all of the 
um, self-review forms and the feedback you've been giving to Giveth. Um, Nico has spent a lot of time finding these key points that we need to improve as a DAO. So um, if you haven't already, take the time. Like, this is super valuable just to spend, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour going through the information. Maybe write something in there, like, about your thoughts, and then, um, you know, we can take that into consideration as we continue to draft uh, more improvements to the Giveth DAO. Next one. Bing. Control tab, Griff. Control tab. Um, so the vesting distribution, um, the last update there is I there were some mistakes in the spreadsheet, and so some of the amounts were incorrect. So I posted this update about five days ago. Uh, it's only about like 100,000 give uh, difference. I think it went from 4.6 to 4.7 million. So take a review at those. Um, and I've tagged uh, Kai, Moshe Hub, and Amin, I know some of you are in the call, to just take a look at the final script, make sure that there's no mistakes with that. And then um, I can just create the vote and we can distribute the very last round of vesting. Um, so yeah, take a look at that. That's going out immediately though. So please uh, have a look. Uh, next one. Equity, equity, equity. So this is going to replace vesting and it's going to be a little bit more flexible. Uh, this is going to be a way for people to opt in to receive part of their compensation in give tokens along with a slight bonus, depending on how much give tokens you're taking. Um, so Griff brought up some good points. Uh, I think this discussion was since February 29th, so it's been going on for a while. Griff made some suggestions. Uh, I countered his suggestions with more suggestions. Um, and then the last thing I need to write is kind of, okay, you know, how are we going to rubber stamp this? Do we want uh, a snapshot vote? Do we want, uh, you know, us to create a budget for this? Um, and then hopefully we can get this going uh, right away since vesting is, is basically ended at this point. So uh, that's equity opportunities. And this affects all Giveth contributors. So worth a look. Uh, last forum post in, from the CTAs is the home office allowance. Uh, this again has been up since March 8th. The only real thing to talk about here is that we're going to be extending the eligibility until April 30th. So if you're affected by this, if you're on the list and you haven't uh, started your home office purchases or you haven't finished them, you will have until the 30th of April to finish that up. Um, back to the slides. Bing. Uh, we just had our uh, bi-weekly DAO ops call. That was uh, an hour before the town hall. Uh, so it happened bi-weekly. So the next one is on May 9th. Uh, we have governance calls uh, alternating weekly. I think we just had... Uh, the next one will be next Monday at 9 a.m. Mexico. And every other week, so when we don't have our governance call, we have a stewards call um, at the same time uh, bi-weekly. Uh, what went well? Well, let's look. Uh, the Dow Health Check forum post, the what's next one that Nicola made, uh, was honestly very fantastic. It was very well done. Um, and so, like, props to her for kicking that out. Uh, that went well. Uh, Frischel and I worked to simplify our payment dates, uh, decreasing the admin overhead to get everyone paid every month. Uh, we hired a bunch of people. Uh, Lauren talked about them already, but we hired uh, Rachel, Kieran, and William. So again, welcome them to the Giveth crew. Uh, the BuddyBot is now functioning. Uh, Nico and Kai have finished the first version of it. Um, so we're going to be using the BuddyBot now that it's working uh, to alleviate some of our manual processes in the Buddy system. Uh, and the last thing that went well was the home office allowance, uh, which I just spoke about. What could have gone better? Well, I mean, Dow up shrinking was kind of a bummer, but uh, well, it's the way the road. Uh, reputation and reward systems are cut from Dow up scope, so we will not be doing rewards or reputation for the next three months. Uh, we will not be doing rewards and reputation, so that means, you know, praise, rewards, everything. We're not going to be doing that until. Until the next time we get voted to sustain, uh, we can add it back to our scope or if we, whatever. Anyway, no more buddy bot development. So there's some more improvements that could be made. But again, we've cut that from scope. Uh, OP token went down. Uh, we have most of our funding in OP. 
from Art Retro PGF. So OP to token going down is no bueno for our treasury. So uh, that could have gone better, but we couldn't control that, unfortunately. Um, what's coming up next month? Let's have a look on the next slide. Uh, the equity plan is coming into effect. We're going to be getting out the last round of vesting. Uh, we've got some forum posts in the pipeline. Uh, I'd like to gather feedback on the season voting experience and figure out how we can make it better uh, for season four. Uh, we're going to be having an education program stipend, uh, looking at that similar to what's currently being implemented in GM. So keep an eye out for that forum post. And the HR crew will be updating some of their documentation uh, in Notion as well. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, this is another one for shovels on fire with memes, but, uh, you know, I, I always love a good SpongeBob meme, so take it there. Anyway, uh, that's it for DOPS, and I'll give it back to you, Griff. Nice. So, uh, we have a few minutes for Q&A. Uh, I'll kick it off, but please, uh, undo your mic if you have something to say here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm curious, Mitch, uh, for the praise, since we're not giving awards now anymore, are we going to, like, kind of have a backlog that we could distribute if uh if it goes to sustain next round or will yep. we just say okay so like yeah we'll just pick up yeah so the the idea is that your praise won't it, it will still be worth something and like we'll process it but we probably won't process it until it's added back into the scope from dow ops okay cool so assuming that Dow Ops gets a sustain, or even if you add it to the shrink proposal. We write it into our shrink, exactly, yeah. Okay, cool. Is there anything we can do to save praise for this quarter? It's just like, that's it. I mean, that's kind of, I feel like uh, with the voting process, it's interesting to have some real consequences from our voting, so. You know, we can work towards improving these things in the future, but um, maybe that'll make us, or at least myself, more thoughtful in the way that we do the process in the future. Yeah, I mean, we just can't do it all, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyone else have any, any questions about, uh, about anything that was mentioned? I, I have a quick one for Lauren on the QF working group. I guess Lauren and Kieran. Uh, w after the Galactic Giving, do we have another QF round that's coming up? We don't have anything planned, but uh, we should. <laughs> cool. So then we're open. So if the fundraising team finds a QF round, we can slot it in real quick. Yeah, definitely. I think that, you know, seeing the, the feedback from sponsors on this QF round, it's like we should. Um, I mean, I think we have some sponsors from this round that are kind of like the two round sponsors. Like we could host another public goods round, I think, um, next month if we wanted to. Um, but it would be nice if we could find like a single round sponsor. Yeah, and uh, we'll, there will be an on chain well, I guess it doesn't matter for this round. Um, but I will say uh, on-chain activity on Optimism from now until April, until May 1st will count for the, um, the Retro PGF 4. So if you have any, um, if you know of anyone who has give tokens to claim on Optimism, it's probably worth getting them to do it because Retro PGF 4 uh, is going to be looking at transactions and and uh, on chain movements. So any activity we can get on Optimism for the next week will uh, actually directly turn into money from Retro PGF four in a couple months. So definitely get out there, tell people to use the Give Token, bridge the Give Token, uh, do all the things as soon as we as much as we can this week. Just want to throw that out there. Does that also include uh, bridging from Gnosis to Optimism once once the Connect bridge is, um, up, uh, I don't know, improved? Yep, but uh, I don't think that'll be up there this week. We're, we're hoping they'll whitelist it tomorrow, then we can deploy. 
It, I, I think May 1st is the deadline for activity. So we have to, any, any activity before May 1st. Can I just, I heard, what, heard this with one ear. Does this, is it better to be moving things to optimism or does it matter? Just activity in general with given optimism. Activity in general with any contract we deployed. So we have, we have our, uh, if we can distribute givebacks before May 1st, uh, oh, well, GiveX just goes into our, um, our, our token distro. It's really claiming probably is the big one. Number of holders, number of stakers, all of those things will add to, uh, to it. Cool. So Thanks. any activity, Thanks. even if you're bridging off, it's fine. Yeah. Or you can mint Mitch, you can mint Mach. Uh, go, go mint your match. I don't, I don't, the Mitch, Mitch has to have, uh, 420 users of his NFT. So, you know, if, uh, if he can get 420, 20 addresses to hold his NFT, then, then, uh, he can apply for a uh, retro PGF four or base. You can have it on base too. So, yeah. And, you know, in, in general, this this week is a good week to be engaging with optimism uh, as much as you can for any of your friends and partners. Play with optimism this week uh, so that we can pad the stats in the region space for Retro PGF 4. It's going to be tough, but it, it is uh, it's very metric space. So every activity will turn into OP tokens for the people who deployed the contract. Uh, well, thank you all. Uh, we are out of time. It was a really, really great uh, monthly town hall. I almost wish we still did this every two weeks, but uh, it's also kind of fun to have it every month and that it makes it that much more special. So thank you all for coming and we'll see you next month. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Wait. 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 Wait.